Hi everyone, welcome to Cup Idiom Sailing. My name is Marco, I'm a Sail Canada cruising instructor, and in today's video, I'll be covering the points of sail. Just as we saw in Part 1 of our Learn to Sail series, the language of sailing plays a large part in this sport. Clear communication between skipper and crew is essential. The points of sail will be your next step in learning the language of sailing. Traditionally, the points of sail are described as you see here, in what is commonly referred to as the sailing circle. The sails are adjusted to match the various points of sail and I will talk a bit more about that later in this video. Here is a variation of the sailing circle. Put simply, the points of sail describe the angle of the wind in relation to the hull of the boat. In the sailing circle, the wind remains stationary and the boats sail around in a circle. I would like to offer a different perspective, one that has always made more sense to me. Here, the boat remains stationary and the wind goes around in a circle. This relative perspective is what you experience while at the helm of a boat, especially if you use the wind vane or wind instruments, since they point in the direction the wind is coming from. When the wind comes from directly ahead, the boat is unable to sail, and we call this being in irons. The boat has to sail at an angle to the wind, with the sails acting like wings, and generating lift. More to come on this principle when we get into the theory of sailing. This first point of sail is called close hauled, and is as close to the wind as a boat can sail. Depending on boat design, this angle will be somewhere around 35 to 45 degrees. When the wind strikes the boat at 90, we call that a beam reach. When the wind comes from 180 degrees, we are on a run or running. The points of sail are mirrored on either side of the boat. Each side is referred to as port or starboard tack. I will explain how to determine the tack of a boat in a little bit. A run, a beam reach, and close hauled are fixed angles. In between close hauled and beam reach is a zone that is referred to as a close reach. And the zone between a beam reach and a run is called a broad reach and the same for the other side. Between run and beam reach is a broad reach, and between beam reach and close hauled is the close reach. I'm going to come back and go over the points once again, but right now I want to define how to correctly determine the tack of a sailing vessel. A common misconception is that the tack is determined by which side of the boat the wind is hitting. So if the wind is on the starboard side of the boat, you're on a starboard tack. Conversely, if the wind is coming from port, you're on a port tack. This is correct up to a point. What happens when the wind is astern? The boats in this picture, by the way, are all on port tack. The correct way to determine a vessel's tack is defined in the Collision Regulations Rule 12. The windward side of a boat determines the tack, and by definition, the windward side of a sailboat is the side opposite the mainsail. Where the wind is coming from is technically irrelevant. So these boats are all on starboard tack. The mainsail is off to port, and these are on the port tack. You'll notice that a run can be either port or starboard, but all else being equal, it is preferred to run on starboard. We'll cover why in our video on the rules of the road. So now let's go back and go through all the points of sail, one after the other. Note the position of the sails. As the wind swings around to the stern, the sails are progressively eased out. We'll start at the top, with close hauled on the starboard tack, followed by a close reach, a beam reach, a broad reach, 
and finally a run. As we go up the other side on the port tack, notice that the sails are progressively sheeted in as we go from a broad reach to a beam reach to a close reach and finally to close hauled, which is as close as the boat can sail to the wind. Let's review some of the definitions that we covered in part one, parts of the boat and sailing terminology. Coming about is when the boat changes tack by putting the bow through the wind. When we come about in succession, in order to gain ground upwind, we call that beating. Jibing is changing tacks by turning the stern through the wind. When the wind is directly astern and the sails are eased out all the way on either side of the boat, we are running. If the wind shifts to the same side of the boat that the mainsail is on, we call that sailing by the lee. This is usually done unintentionally and can be very dangerous. When running wing and wing, always keep the wind on your stern or to the side opposite the mainsail. And finally, if not beating upwind close hauled or sailing directly downwind on a run, you're reaching. There are three reaches, close, beam, and broad. Notice how the sails change for the different reaches. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you have subscribed and would like to be notified of new releases, make sure to click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button. And why not check out our website for more comprehensive online courses. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I wish you all fair winds and following seas. Be sure to check back soon for our next episode, where we talk about steering effectively in reverse, and the amazing benefits of being able to do that.